Hello and welcome to the Fonce d'Alcat interview. Our guest today is Rashid Ghanoucci, the leader of the Enhada movement in Tunisia. Hello on Fonce d'Alcat. Hello. It has been proved that when the members of the government in Enhada stay silent, the situation improves. Who's responsible for political tension in Tunisia? Who's responsible for this? Well, I think that the responsibility for this is shared by all those who resort to escalating their position. They're all responsible. You call on the government to stay silent, do you? To avoid statements that might provoke more tension? No, I'm not calling for everybody to be silent because we are a, a living creature. Man is a, a creature who speaks. We need to speak. But the important thing is to know what position should be adopted. Do we adopt a position based on dialogue, on communicating, based on cooperation for the greater good of our country, and in order to take forward the democratic process, which is a historical one in our country. So the important thing is not to be silent, but to choose one's position appropriately, a position based on dialogue and communication, and not a position based on, based on insults. You're the leader of the majority party in Tunisia. When you hear the President of the Republic talking about extremist secularists, are you aware the existence of extremist secularists. Well, of course, there are extremist secularists and there are extremist Islamists. There are different extremist factions. As for us, we call for moderation, and the regime which has been established in Tunisia is based on a coalition between moderate secularists and moderate Islamists. There are Islamists on both sides. The President of the Republic has talked about capital punishment. I did not hear him say that, but all I can say is that extremism has nefarious consequences. This is inevitable. And this is a warning against all forms of extremism in all f factions, both secular extremism and Islamist extremism. According to you, why is in Harder linked, the name linked with violence and restrictions on public liberties? I don't know who's been saying this. Some Tunisians say that. Well, everybody knows that Inada is an example of moderate Islamism. We have set the foundation for the con concept of a consensus between secularity and Islam, between democracy and Islam, uh, between modernism and Islam. We have established the basis for gender parity, and we seek to maintain this consensus. We have been seeking to this day that uh, the consensus should remain in Tunisia and that Tunisia should not be characterized by by the denial of other people's rights, because in our strategy, this is the spirit of Islam. In your view, have women's rights declined? Tunisia hasn't ratified the Sadao Convention of 1979, and which fights against all forms of discrimination. Well, one should not focus on a detail and say that this is the overall position. In actual fact, it's a reservation regarding an international convention. This is not a rejection of the convention. It's simply a reservation. Bourguiba expressed reservations on the convention. So did Ben Ali and the position of the government on this convention is not a specific position in Tunisia. All countries can accept um, international conventions or express reservations on parts of the convention. As regards uh, rapes in Tunisia, are you shocked by them? Of course. You have even talked about capital punishment for rape. Tunisian law is extremely strict regarding this kind of offence, and these crimes require uh, exemplary punishment because the women and girls who are victims of rape are almost put to death by this, and therefore these cases should be 
treated with the full force of the law, and this should extend to capital punishment. And I should add that some associations which are against the death penalty support, now support this position. As far as I'm concerned, the death penalty is a natural law. It's he who threatens the life of others must know that his own life is threatened. Some people have given their lives, like uh, Shukri Belaid, who was assassinated politically and physically. When you hear these accusations made against Enhada, how do you react? This uh, crime should be condemned in every way, and we did not hesitate to condemn it. We feel that this kind of crime is a message to all politicians, because all politicians should feel that they are potential targets for this type of assassination. It's a threat to all politicians. You yourself uh, were received in Kesrin with slogans such as, get out. Is there a link between the assassination I don't think so. demonstrations? I think that this was a small group of mercenaries uh, in the pay of extremists, and that's it. So society is divided between modernists and non-modernists? Well, uh, perhaps not to that point. I think that uh, the Tunisian society is a moderate society, but it's a society that is also conservative, that is keen to maintain its Muslim-Arab identity. But the Tunisians do not accept, will not accept to be treated as apostates. Tunisian society is open on the world by its very nature and history. Therefore, the Tunisian people uh, uh, attach the greatest importance to their uh, Arab Muslim identity. On another subject, who's responsible for encouraging the departure of jihadists from Tunisia to Syria? Is, uh, does the Inhada movement have a strategy in this regard? The responsibility for those people leaving, uh, there's no responsibility. These people are in Lebanon, they're in Somali, in Syria, and he, who, the one who's in responsible for this situation, well, it's, it's the people who have created the political vacuum. Tunisia has always had a religious, moderate identity in the spirit of Zaytuna. But with the recent regimes, a political vacuum has appeared and um, the various factions have uh, distorted the original spirit of Tunisia and several uh, factions have had a negative influence on Tunisia. Why do you refuse to set a date for parliamentary elections? Why do you refuse to set a date for such elections? No, no that's not right. We're insisting on this. We want uh, an agreement to establish a calendar so that elections are organized in October involving uh, different uh, political groups and parties. This um, election calendar also includes the adoption of a law, the establishment of a, an electoral commission. As regards the electoral commission, people have tried to to say that it is meeting behind closed doors. Why is there a doubt about the Electoral Commission? Is Enada trying to control this uh, body? No party in Tunisia can dominate the electoral process. The Tunisian regime at the present time is a democratic regime and nobody can impose his will. And it's, Tunisia is based on consensus. The constitution will be adopted on the basis of consensus, and the various electoral bodies will only be established on the basis of consensus because we are in the in um, undergoing democratic transition, and what we have to do is to achieve unanimity and consensus. You talk about consensus. Isn't there a contradiction between consensus and the law of political exclusion? No. No, no exclusion? Well, if the Tunisians agree to preserve, to protect the revolution through a law, then this is their right. We're in France at present. In Paris, the capital of France, we know that this country, France, has 
protected its revolution by banning parties, counter-revolutionary parties. There's no monarchist party in France. And after um, 200 years, France is still seeking to protect its revolution. The Tunisians have not committed any crime, any um, acts of violence in their revolution, but a revolution has to be protected. So you, in Enharda, you are emphasizing the law of political institution and indemnification of victims of oppression. We stress uh, justice and transition. Um, justice has to follow its course in order to deal with all the cases of um, embezzlement, to deal with cases of torture, all those who cheated during the elections. All these people have to be brought to justice. And to date, this um, justice system has undergone some delay, and this is why the, the revolution has been preserved, because we have had um, a transition justice. There are five blocks, political groups in the parliament who have um, tabled this bill, even though it has not yet become uh, the law of the, of the country. The initiative party has given its support for the formation of a government. Is this party excluded by the law? We uh, thanked those who are members of the party. We uh, thanked them for this initiative. We uh, thanked the uh, Freedom and Dignity Party, and we thanked all those who came up with an initiative. We made many concessions. What problem is there between Rashid Ganucci and Esepsi? I don't think there's any problem. I'm not complaining about him, and I don't think he's complaining about me. So there's no, um, there's no antagonism between us. In actual fact, the feeling is in Tunisia is that is is one of there's some, there's some concern that the um, party of the former regime may come back. And, of course, if we prove that those who were in office under the old regime were innocent, then fine. But if proof were to emerge that these people were uh, responsible for embezzlement, for example, then they will be brought to justice. Are you prepared to form an alliance with the Nida Tunes party? So far, this party does not have any proper program. We don't know what its real identity is. So what we want is to have clarification regarding its political identity, to take our own position. As regards age limits for candidates, are you in favor of age limits 70 on candidates? This question has not yet been raised. We don't want to have a prime minister aged 110. Are you in favor of this as the leader of Enhada? Well, I'm, I'm not very young, even though people sometimes accuse me of supporting youth rather too much. But I think that we have to ensure that anybody who's uh, senile or who suffers from Alzheimer, we have to prevent people like that from coming to power. That's quite normal. The country has to be governed by somebody, by figures who are in good health, uh, who are honest and competent. And beyond a certain age, these competences clearly cannot be guaranteed. What's your reaction to reports that make Enhada responsible for the violence, the violent demonstrations that took place in front of the UGTT building and in Sidiana? Enhada is not above the rule of law. Anybody who is accused should be dealt with based on evidence and one should not uh, make um, unfounded accusations. It's been said that another is responsible for violence. Well, we have a judiciary system in Tunisia. Anybody who feels that has, she has been a victim should press charges. Will the Nada party leave Ali Larayed, the head of the government, have free, a free hand? 
Mr. Lariyed is the Prime Minister. He has prerogatives and nobody can call into question his prerogatives. And Harder doesn't want to intervene? Inada is a party in office in coalition, in a coalition with other parties. We are playing our role. We have a program, but the Tunisian government is not an Inada government, it's a coalition government. And therefore, the decisions express this spirit of coalition and also the national interests. These decisions are not only based on a troika or on Inada. As a man of religion, may I ask you a question? <laughs> I'm not uh, a religious man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be more accurate to say that I'm a, a religious technocrat, as it were. When you hear what Sheikh Yusuf Kadawi says, who encourages a revolution in Algeria, a neighboring country, what's your reaction? Um, quite frankly, I haven't heard this being said. I haven't heard him saying this. He launched an appeal for demonstrations in the south of Algeria and elsewhere. Uh, in actual fact, Mr. El Kardawi is somebody for whom, whom we have the greatest respect. He's the president of the um, Islamic uh, ulemas. Of course, sometimes he makes mistakes. Uh, that's human. The burning of flags, of French flags, in front of the French embassy, is that page being turned over now? We don't do that kind of thing with a friendly country. France is a friend, a friendly country, and if there's any criticism to be made, we make the criticism through diplomatic channels. We uh, protested against the uh, statements made by the French interior minister, but our method does not consist in burning uh, flags, in particular the flag of a country which is our friend, a friendly country, a partner with which we have had a partnership for many years. Mr. thank you very much. Stay with us on Thank you. 24.